Hello students, welcome once again to our next part on a series of videos on functional analysis. Uh, today we are going to talk about a few important points again and uh, the first point is point number 33. I had done till point number 32 in the previous video. So this is point number 33. It says a norm, a norm, okay is continuous a norm is continuous as a mapping a norm is continuous as a mapping from x onto into r okay moving on to point number 34 students have to write this type it out Okay, so point number 34 is H-A-N, uh, H-A-H-N, Han, Banach, Theorem, on, on norm space. Norm space, there you go. So let's just uh, highlight that for you and make it big I mean okay so let's talk about this what is this all right so let's start so what is this let's say let f be a continuous okay let f be a uh, continuous uh, let f be bounded sorry let f be bounded let f be bounded linear functional bounded linear functional on a subspace on a subspace y of a normed space sorry about that space x norm space x then there exists a bounded then there exists a bounded linear functional there exists a bounded linear functional f linear functional on x okay which is an extension which is an extension of f on x okay and and has the same and has the same and has the same norm that is extension of f y okay is equal to f and norm the extension okay uh, x will be equal to let's write that down the extension in x all right will be equal to extension norm of y all right okay so that is our point number 34 okay moving on to our next point 
and uh, that would be point number 35 right point number 35 is let x be a vector let x be a vector space over a field over a field f okay where the field bill is equal to r or c okay then a function a function okay that will be in this form comma dot then a function of this sort where x cross x x cross x tends to the field f is said to be is said to be inner is said to be inner product said to be inner product if it satisfies the following conditions if it satisfies the following conditions what are the conditions here we go the first condition point number one that's the first condition it is the sequence of x x all right that is greater than equal to zero okay for all x belonging to capital x moving on to our second point on this and the second point is is uh, this that is the sequence x comma x okay mm -hmm. is equal to zero if and only if x is equal to zero so moving on to our next point that is point number three x comma y in sequence form is equal to y comma x bar okay uh, let's move on to our next one okay that is point number four and that is alpha x sequence of the alpha x y will be equal to alpha x comma y all right and finally the last point okay the last point that is point number five it is x plus y comma z hold on comma z the sequence form is equals to x comma z plus y comma z and of course x comma y comma z belong to x and alpha belongs to the field f okay students so that's it for this part we have done uh, quite long points and uh, right on till point number 35 okay we can we will continue with this in the next videos so thank you for watching see you next time bye bye